expand early detection programs. Protesting puppy mills, the focus of the San Diego Animal Defense Team today, the group asked for the public support. Their goal is for San Diego to join 11 other California cities against the sale of dogs, cats, and rabbits in city pet stores. Today, protesters targeted the San Diego puppy on Mission Gorge Road, part of an ongoing protest that began last May. We've now formed a very large broad-based coalition that includes many of the veterinarians, rescues, groomers and in San Diego, as well as some large groups like the Humane Society. No word from that store's owner. To find out more, you can visit their website at San Diego Animal, Animal Defense Team. A North Carolina man finds himself defending his decision to tattoo his puppy and then post it to Facebook. He says he did it for identification, but others say it was cruel. Carter Coyle talked with the dog owner and has the story. <laughs> Ernesto Rodriguez is a disabled army veteran and father of three. They're big puppies. Who says he loves his dogs as if they were his children. And even my kids are like, man, those dogs are better than we do. <laughs> his puppy, Duchess, is a four-month-old American bully who now boasts a belly tattoo. Duke has one, too. They both have it. They both have it, on, just in case anything happens to them. Rodriguez says he gave Duchess the intricate identification after taking her to the vet to get her ears clipped. I took her to the shop, tattooed her, bring her back here, and she slept the rest of the day. Really, that's kind of suspicious in my mind. Animal advocate Caleb Scott says the whole story just does not add up. Usually when you pick up dogs, they're already, or cats, they're already awake after the procedure. They don't usually hand you over a dog that is asleep. On his first Facebook post, he said he was bored and he was tattooing. I think what he's doing now is backpedaling, saying he's identifying it. We asked him several times, and Rodriguez insists the dog was asleep following the procedure. Just like judging someone for wearing a tattoo. You know, you judge and you think that they're, you know, bad people. And it's not, it's just art. And um, I'm, I'm an artist. I want to put art on my dog. She was already asleep, so I took advantage of that. After Rodriguez posted a Facebook picture of Duchess, people from all over the country responded, calling him an animal abuser. Do you regret doing it now after all this backlash? No, not at all. I'll do it again with my next dog. Investigators in Stokes Canyon, North Carolina, say they're looking into this case because someone filed a complaint. They don't know yet if any laws have been violated. It's a site you can only 